Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're reviewing the server Hypecraft. Now I want to start off by saying this is not an English server. I was requested to review it anyway and I'm like, okay, cool. I, I don't know the language, but I will for sure review it anyway. So let's get started. All right, so we've joined in. Now, since I can't actually read pretty much anything in whatever language this is, I can kind of guess what they say, but I can't actually read it. I know that's Tony and that's Staff, so I'll, I'll be able to help you out on here for some of that. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's supposed to be here. I'm guessing that's once I go through there it's going to come up, but these blank spots I would recommend until you get through that point where those actually pop up, they don't appear. That's just my thoughts on it. I think that would look a lot better. So you have your, you have a pretty nice lobby here. It's a pretty small lobby for this many holograms, though, um, is what I am thinking. Because you have all of these holograms, and they're right in front of your faces. And some of these you can't even read without moving forward. So if you're standing here, those go through blocks. Um, over here, you have, I'm guessing this is your rewards for being and playing on the server. So you have slash buy and all that stuff. Um over here let's see regular maybe uh rules i'm guessing that means rules considering all these look like rules so you have rules here but i'm guessing if i do slash rules it's just going to be the default yes so maybe make the default rules when you type slash rules through essentials it actually appears here or something like that i don't know uh that teleports you to a different game mode i think uh chests or crates so you can left click to view that's pretty cool maybe make some colors here i like the white against the black but maybe make colors depending on the type of crate it is. That may be looking pretty cool. This is your staff, I believe. Yes, it is. So you got your owner and mods and mod. So you have your owner here. Where you don't. You have all these floating heads. I don't know if the floating heads are necessary, but um, maybe we might get like an NPC or something. Maybe looking a little better. Um, but pretty nice hub. I would add a little bit bigger though, um, just because it's kind of cramped together here. But that's just my opinion. All right, let's go to Towny. So I spawned on top of a tree. So I'm guessing this is like your default survival type thing. Um, your tab list looks pretty good. You do have a, quite a lot of colors. Your colors on the scoreboard don't really match the colors in the tab menu. So I would maybe make those match. And the lines in the tab menu don't match the lines on the scoreboard either. So maybe make everything match together would look a lot better in my opinion. You can do slack buy. I have a pretty high ping, but that's normal because I'm normally on the... Uh, US side of things when people can also be on the EU and the server maybe he's hosted in a different country considering it's a different language it is 1.14 and I'm about to get killed by villagers it seems or uh, pillagers whatever they call it now you have a nice little join message there that's pretty cool so you have the default you don't have like a default join message you have a customized join message and you don't have double join messages which is pretty cool so very nice job there um, so if I type select spawn, I would assume I go back to the main spawn. I fall through the world. Hmm. Okay. So maybe fix select spawn and make it not do that. Um, and I also got really bad lag after that. And my computer is normally pretty good. So I don't know. I was getting 70 FPS there and I normally get about 400. So something went wrong there. I'm not exactly sure what it is. If I type select spawn, it actually doesn't do that now, but it did at that point. So if I go to Towny again, I'm guessing it would teleport me to the place I just was. Because um, that would make sense. No, every time you teleport through there, you go to a random location. So maybe make it so you could teleport exactly back to where you were. Or you could teleport to a random location at the same time. Um, I can't do slash help. It doesn't do anything. Maybe add slash. Or it does do stuff, but it's the default. So maybe add something like that. Uh, I doubt you let us see your plugins, but I'm going to type it anywhere. There's a little lag when it typing commands for some reason. Um, okay, you do block plugins. Do you block about? You do not block about tab, so I can still see your about tab here. Um, so you may want to fix that because those are all your plugins there. Um, I'm guessing you use Featherboard is just by the look of it. No, you do not. I. Uh, no, you do not. So you don't use Featherboard. I can't tell what scoreboard plugin that is. It's kind of weird. I've never seen a scoreboard plugin like that. Um, but Featherboard, I would recommend using it. It reduces lag. It adds more of the animations and stuff. That's just my opinion. I don't know how much money you have on the server to spend, but Featherboard is worth the price if you're able to. Um, but overall, you have a pretty nice server here. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think I can do Slack Store. I don't think there's Warps. There's no Warps. Warp Store. Warp... Uh, crates you don't have any of those so i'm assuming 
um, you guess it's like survival and you can survive around. But I would add more of a tutorial. I'm not sure if maybe the tutorial's in a different language or something, but just do something along the lines of that I think would work out pretty well. Um, but overall, pretty nice server here. I don't exactly know what I'm going to review into it. The few things I mentioned is all I noticed, and I think it would look better on the server in general. But hopefully you take these review and um, improve your server with it and all that stuff. I'm going to see how the death works on the server real quick by building up and killing myself here um, off the blocks. And I'll see how fall damage kills you and everything. Um, and all that stuff. So when you die, you do keep your stuff. Maybe make a custom death message would be pretty cool and then you want to keep with the unique either bracket or double uh red lines whatever works better for your server just keep it all consistent in my opinion so great job on the server hopefully you have success with it in the future and you continue getting players on and i will see you in the next video